good morning guys so today I thought I'd bring you guys along um, I got some chicken soup on the stove perking away here and I thought I would make crescent rolls um, I don't make them very often but uh, those ones in the tubes I can't make those I don't know why but I cannot but anyways so I thought today I would bring you along for my homemade rendition of them um, in my bowl I have one cup of warm milk uh, one tablespoon of yeast quarter cup of butter and I'm just gonna kind of give that a little zhuzh here and I'm gonna add two eggs to that and get them in there working my chickens loved me yesterday they gave me two whole eggs but my girls need a break so I'm okay with it I tell myself okay so I am gonna leave all the um, directions and ingredients in the description box okay but I am gonna start with four cups of all-purpose flour okay I'm just gonna put that in it is so cold in here today guys I'm really hoping this works I'm gonna get I'm gonna start with three and then if I have to I'll add another one and then I'm gonna add the milk to that or sorry the salt to that in just a second and that starts to get combined there so it's like a teaspoon of salt I think you guys are gonna enjoy this um, a lot you can also I've also when I've had time and when I have a ton of eggs in the spring I do this I make this and then um, I roll them and then I blast freeze them and then I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and then I have them all summer and then I throw them on my barbecue or whatever and bake them up but it is a really really nice dough and I think you guys are really gonna like this now I only put three cups of flour in here and I'm just gonna let this combine see where I am because sometimes I need four and a half sometimes I need five so it really depends so I've had my oven light on for at least two hours actually I had to put my butter in there to warm it up like it is very cold in here today It needs a tad bit more so I'm gonna do about a half a cup guys but this would be fantastic like uh, with your your Christmas dinner or whatever so I thought oh I'll bring you guys along because then you guys will have the recipe and then you can make them whenever you want you can do this by hand I have done that as well Okay, I'm gonna get the salt in there because I almost forgot. And it needs a little bit more flour. Not a whole lot. There it goes. I'm just gonna get that off the paddle or the dough hook I guess I should say feel that dough it's still really sticky so I'm gonna add some more everything okay just gotta bang on the trunk hang on a sec guys okay guys sorry about that the feed is stuck in the trunk of our car <laughs> and we got quite the storm last night <laughs> so 
Just get a little bit more flour. And like I said, I'm just adding a little bit at a time. And I think that's going to be perfect. Just going to test it again. Yep. There we go. Okay. So now I'm just going to leave it on number two. And I'm going to let this knead for five minutes. And I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, guys. So here's the dough. Okay, I did have to hand knead it a little bit. But look how plush that is. Look how soft that is. And it's like, it's like Play-Doh, I guess is the, the feeling of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my bowl. I'm going to put some olive oil in there. I'm going to put it in my oven that I have my oven light on. Because like I said, my house is really drafty today. It is not nice weather out there today. So um, I'll bring you guys back in an hour. We'll roll this out and we'll bake these off. Okay, guys, so I had to let this go for about an hour and a half. Like I said, it is really cold in my house today. So we're just going to deflate it. Just nice and gentle. I'm going to put it on my clean counter here. And I'm going to cut this in half. Gonna try to do it as even as I can. That's fairly even. So I'm just gonna put the other half in my bowl. Okay. Move you guys with me here just a little bit. I'm just gonna. And I have a cookie sheet over on my other counter there. And I just have some parchment paper on it. Super simple. Okay. Lifts up really nice. You want to try to keep it into somewhat of a circle. Okay? You'll see why in just a second. Make sure. Yep, it's fine. Sometimes it likes to stick to the counter. Sometimes it doesn't. I actually like making these in the winter time and then in the summertime, you know, for those, sorry guys, didn't, don't mean to keep hitting you. Um, those quick dinners, you know, they're really super nice to have. All right. Look at that beautiful color. That's my good old hen eggs. Love them. Okay. It's so cold. I had to put my butter in the oven with the light on. It is that cold in here. All right. The sun is just starting to peek out now. So you're going to butter this light like you would a cinnamon bun. Okay. Now, they're not going to be perfect, guys. They're homemade. You know, and if they don't have a little bit of love going on there, then, you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so now you're going to take your pizza cutter, okay, and you're just going to put it in four, okay, like so, like you're cutting a pizza, basically, okay. Now, this one's a little big, so I'm going to actually cut these again. Like some are going to be bigger, some are going to be smaller. It is what it is, right? If you want a great big crescent roll, then you're you're golden. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm just gonna cut that one in half. Okay. So now I'm gonna move a couple of these guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Imagine doing this with your grandkids or your I can't wait to have grandkids, guys. Like you don't even know. <laughs> I am so excited for grandkids. All right. So now you're going to kind of pull at the end here. Okay. And like I said, they're not going to, 
They're not going to be all perfect. And then you're going to want to roll and tuck like so and roll them up. I'm just going to pot it on my baking dish or my baking dish. My uh, cookie sheet. I'm, I'm sure you guys can even hear the wind in the microphone. It's It's windy today. And then you just keep rolling it like so. Try to make sure that bottom, like this part here, is on the bottom of the cookie sheet so it's flat, okay? You can see how delicate this dough is. Like it is so beautiful. Okay, so now we're just gonna roll these up like so. Let them hang out over there. Pull it across. Roll it up. These are going to be so good with that homemade chicken noodle soup tonight. So I have my oven pre preheating at 350. Okay. Pull it. Here, I'll try to do it here. There we go. So pull it across. I am not a professional baker. But. What's crazy is, I can bake these, but don't ask me to make the ones out of the tube. I burn them every single time. My husband laughs at me, because I cannot make things out of a box. So I came up with this. Okay, so pull it across. Now, I mean, if you don't want to do it, then don't do that. But I'm going to do the best I can here. Sorry guys, I gotta turn my soup down. I have bones boiling over here. I was like, oh, today is definitely a good soup day. I'm just gonna move some of that butter. Beautiful. And turn it. Yeah, if you want me to do, um, we do a I do a pizza one like this too. Um, obviously I do the cheese and hot dogs. Um, but yeah, I do pizza ones like this too. If uh, you want to see that, you let me know. Ham and cheese. There's so many different things you can do with this recipe. It's, it's pretty versatile. It's a good one to have, I think. Or even, you know, just like tonight, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make crescent rolls to go with our soup tonight, you know? Or, you know, if butter goes on sale, because this does take three three quarters of a cup of butter. Um, butter goes on sale and, you know, you have a day where, you know, the kids are off school, like our kids are about to be on strike. If our teachers don't figure out what they're going to do there. This would be a job I would have for one of the kids, you know. They could sit here, I don't care what they look like as long as they taste good, you know. And they can be proud of what, what they've done. What the heck? Okay, let's pull it. I'm going to finish these last two up with you guys. I'm going to roll out the other ones, do them, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, so here they are, okay? My oven is preheated. So at this point, if you wanted to freeze them, what I do is at this point, I just put them in my freezer like this, and I leave them in there until they're hard, and then put them in a Ziploc bag, and then unthaw them, and... Uh, Unthaw them and use them. Um, yeah, like I said, if you want to see the other things I do with them, you let me know in the comments below. And definitely share this video with somebody that's going to have maybe kids home this Christmas. And, you know, it's a fun little project. It does take a little bit of time. But, you know what? It is so worth it in the long run. The 
kids get to touch the dough, learn about it. And I think that's where, you know, it all kind of starts, you know. Kids get to learn what dough feels like or the, the sense of accomplishment of ma helping make a dinner. You know, like it doesn't have to be fancy, you know, but they get to learn what, what it feels like to accomplish something or, you know, kids are, are inquisitive creatures and I try to bottle that up with the kids and, you know, yes, they ask a lot of questions, but you know what, if you don't ask the question, then you're never going to know the answer. So... And you know what? You're you're setting such a good memory for those kids. You know, stand you know standing in the kitchen and baking something or helping prepare dinner or whatever. Whatever it may be, you are giving them a memory. And that is that is amazing. Alright, so I'm gonna put these in the oven for nine minutes. I'm gonna check them. If, I have had them take up to 15 minutes to make, but I check them at 9 minutes. And I will bring you guys back when I'm pulling them out of the oven. Alright guys, here they are. They just come out of the oven. Okay, so this is how cold my house is today. I just melted that 10 minutes ago. It's already melted. It's already firming up. So we're just going to do another coat of butter. Like I said, they're all different sizes and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I want to use up this butter first. And then, and I had a couple pop open. I didn't get them just perfect and that's okay. I mean, if you're worried about that kind of thing, well, I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, as long as they taste good, my family's happy, then life is good, you know? All right. So, just gonna get some more butter on here. Oh, these smell so delicious, guys. Like, they are gonna be so good with that soup tonight. It's one of our chickens. We had roast chicken the other night. And I was like, oh, it's so crappy outside. It's a good soup day. And there we go. So I'm going to crack one of these open here. Just give me two seconds. to. I want to get them buttered here. Oh, so good. Like I said, if you guys want to see what else I do with them, now is, you know, after Christmas will be the time I do do a few of these because, you know, with the move and everything, I will need um, a couple real quick meals. So I will be making more of these um, in all the other different ways I do them. And uh, if you want me to turn on the camera, you let me know and I will be more than happy to do so. And... I'm going to go, after we're done here, I'm going to go get this video edited and up for you guys. And you guys can, you know, if you guys want to add this to your Christmas baking, you can do it earlier, you know, and just pop them in the freezer, like I said. All right, so this one looks good to me. So I'm going to open, it's, they're really hot. Ooh. And there's the inside, guys. Hope you guys can see that. It's, whew, they're hot. Okay. I'm going to brave it for you. So soft. Look at that. Mmm. So good. All right, guys. I'm going to let these cool. And uh, finish up my soup here. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did like it, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button for me. I appreciate any help I can get getting my channel out there. And if you want this to be shared with somebody that you love, that maybe they would enjoy having this in their recipe binder, share it with them. 
I truly appreciate all, all your love and support. Have a Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you guys super soon. Bye.